Hello good people, welcome to Keep Left, your old car guide to all things cars and all things automotive. As always, my name is Kev, the host who knows most about cars. Today we have an indoor video, a video that is just going to help you be able to do the transfers on the eCitizen portal. Uh, basically, the government moved from NTSA to eCitizen portal, so uh, this uh, video couldn't be much more opportune. So I'll just dive into it. So for starters, I'll share a link of uh, the URL for the eCitizen portal on the description of this video and uh, ideally the link will bring you to this site for the new eCitizen site and then uh, you need to log in so it is paramount that you have an eCitizen account most people have an eCitizen account it's just an issue probably uh, you need to reset the password or something but it's uh, it's where you start from so uh, if you have your account the next thing to do is uh, just put your password and then uh, sign in uh, the next point which uh, it should bring you is a way of uh, verifying if uh, it is you who is logging in remember this is sensitive data that you are holding here uh, so you can choose either to get uh, not, uh, a one-time password via email or via phone let me just use phone uh, it's much faster so then the password will be sent to your phone so once you receive the one-time password and you apply it just press next then you'll be redirected uh, to see your details so basically this is my eCitizen account uh, it's quite a familiar a couple of things will be done I'll share other videos on some of the services that you can access via the eCitizen platform but today we want to look at uh, how to do a transfer so uh, I've been in contact with the uh, NTSA to see how you can actually get this but the only way I've seen uh, for you to get to the uh, transfers uh, portal is by just coming here to this point for apply for driving license and then it's gonna redirect you again so uh, you just continue just to confirm this is the same account once you continue it's gonna bring you to your portal which basically contains all your details in terms of your driving history and all that you can see I currently have 20 points I've been driving for 17 years Wow <laughs> That's not the point. So the next thing to do is you'll notice that if there are any cars that are listed, they'll be listed in this area here. So the next thing to do is you'll just uh, click on the view tab here, this one here, just click on view, and then it's gonna open that car. Uh, I like the new uh, look and feel of the eCitizen portal because it actually gives you uh, a pictorial view. So ideally this is not the car that i want to transfer they just have this generic photo to represent all the cars but it's it's actually a very nice touch so the next thing to do is uh if you confirm this is the car you want the first thing that i'll do is i'll click on top here on motor vehicle services so some of the services you'll get here is uh, if you need to do uh application for the new number plates this is where you'll come duplicate logbook inspection uh, compliance inspection and all that but the area of importance today is vehicle transfer so we'll click on ap apply so once you click on apply the next thing that will happen is it will bring you to the details of the car the chassis number engine number and all that i think this is uh, quite familiar if you've uh, previously done the transfer but ideally this is just to show you the existing details of the motor vehicle so the next thing to do is uh, just scroll up to the bottom part there's a part where it normally asks you for written off so definitely this car is not written off so you click on no and then the next thing is you actually do uh, you choose a file to attach uh, this file what you need to do is the exist the logbook existing under uh, please note it has to be uh, the original one and it has to be in color don't do the black and white the transfer will be uh, rejected by NTSA and you'll have to do it all over again so the next thing to do is you click on choose file once you make the attachment of the PDF image of your logbook just go to the bottom part where you find the next button this one here so click on it and then it's gonna take you to this screen which you're going to select the type of ownership and obviously this is single uh, single means this car is uh, owned by one person if it jo it's joint owned you can uh, equally select the same the next thing is uh, to select the details of the new owner ideally that is the KRA pin and the ID, uh, ID number so with that this is uh, ideally the same as what used to happen in the previous system on NTSA uh, you just put in the details and then it will auto populate so let me do that Mm 
then you can do a search so that it auto populates and you don't have to feel perfect that one has picked the new owner's details yes so once once you once the uh, once it has populated the details of the new owner the only thing you need to do is to preview just to see if everything is in order because the next step will just be you verifying everything and then submitting once you submit the next thing to do will be just to input the payment details so once you are content with the details that are captured here the new owner the details are correct just click submit there is an option to edit at this point maybe you captured the wrong details you can actually do that or maybe you captured you didn't capture the logbook you can actually do this but the goodness about this system is you cannot proceed without those details so once you do that it will bring you to show you the amount that you're supposed to pay so again you get the different modes of payments so for this one uh, it's very simple and direct i think the most direct mode of payment should be mpesa but you are equally allowed to select any mode of payment so for me i just select mpesa and then it will give you the directions so for for the smaller cars be, uh, around 1500 cc they normally pay 2615 at least the charges haven't changed in this uh in this area so you can actually do it via mpesa Once you've made the payment, uh, you can now click on complete. And then it is showing success, uh, payment has been a success and uh, you can actually download the receipt if you want. So let me just do that for future reference, but it's not a must. It's not like anything will happen, but better safe than sorry. Now the receipt looks as so, very simple and uh, straightforward. This is the customer copy. Yeah. Once you've made the download of your receipt and uh, saved it on your uh, PC, uh, the system will take you back to this part of the application, which is basically the application at this point. It has now gone to the buyer and the only thing that is re remaining is for the buyer to accept. So if you want just to confirm the same, if the transfer has been successful, you just come to this section here of application history and click on that and it will show you pending buyer's consent just that basically just means uh, on the buyer on the buyer's end he just needs to accept and the car will uh, uh, go through an uh, go through an approval process under the the ntsa and then the car will reflect on their end and with that that is just a simple way of transferring a motor vehicle in the new platform under eCitizen. Thank you so much for watching this video up to this point. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. If you like this video, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. And most of all, share, like, and subscribe. Thank you so much. Until next time, it is peace.